Hey guys, you know, Mississippi is full of all kind of historically significant stories and sites. And today we're right outside of Fulton, Mississippi, and we're going to teach you a little bit about the Underground Railroad. Come along with us. Let's go explore. The 2006.5 mile Underground Railroad bicycle route was created by the nonprofit organization Adventure Cycling Association. From Mobile, Alabama to Owen Sound, Ontario, the trail memorializes the Underground Railroad, a network of clandestine routes by which enslaved freedom seekers attempted to escape slavery before and during the Civil War. The history of this period comes alive as bicyclists pedal along the corridor that traces the Underground Railroad from the Deep South to Canada, passing points of interest and historic sites. Beginning in Mobile, a key port for ships to unload enslaved Africans in the 1800s, the route goes north following several rivers to Mississippi, Tennessee, and Kentucky. The Tombigbee River, which you'll see in just a second, provided the primary mode of commercial transportation for cotton connecting Itawamba County to downriver port towns of Aberdeen and Columbus. We are in Itawamba County now. Waterways, as well as the North Star, were often used by freedom seekers as a guide in their journeys to escape slavery. The American folk song, Follow the Drinking Gourd, was first published in 1928. The song was supposedly used by the Underground Railroad operative known as Peg Leg Joe. He used it to encode escape instructions and a map within its lyrics. These directions then enabled fleeing slaves to make their way north from Mobile via the Tom Bigby, the Tennessee, and the Ohio Rivers to freedom. The drinking gourd refers to the hollowed out gourd used by enslaved Americans as a water dipper. However, in the song it is used as a code name for the Big Dipper Star Formation, which points to the north and freedom. According to legend, Peg Leg Joe traveled throughout the Deep South, passing the song along to slaves on the southern plantations. The Underground Railroad was a network of secret trails and safe houses used by 19th century enslaved people to escape from the South into the free states and Canada. Abolitionists and allies aided slaves through several routes north. One such route is north along the Tom Bigby River from South Alabama to the river's headwaters in northern Itawamba County. The path then extended from here across the hills to the Tennessee River and onward north to the Ohio River. Harriet Tubman led enslaved people to freedom along the Underground Railroad, possibly passing right through this area. This is about a half a mile or so down the bike path from the sign we were at just a minute ago, just to give you a little better look at the path itself and the Tom Bigby Waterway. A little more about Harriet Tubman. She, of course, was an American abolitionist and then became a social activist. She was born into slavery. Tubman escaped and made around 13 missions to rescue approximately 70 enslaved people, including family and friends. She used the network known as the Underground Railroad, which you've been looking at the river that served as part of the pathway along that trek to freedom. I hope you've learned just a little bit about Harriet Tubman and the Underground Railroad today. And we'll consider making your way to Fulton in Itawamba County, Mississippi to take in the sign and bicycle or walk a little bit along the river and think about the path of those that have come before you. There's a really neat campground and historical center just down the road from this sign. Thank you. <music>